Hey friends, I am doing a little craft experiment this afternoon. Uh, last week or so, my husband and son was watching a TV show and they were doing hydro dipping. And if you don't know what hydro dipping is, it's this procedure where they dip car rims and all kinds of parts to cars and motorcycle wheels and all kinds of stuff. And then I've seen them do deer heads and all this kind of weird carcass stuff. I, we, we started looking up different things that they had hydro dipped and I saw where you know it got me to water marbling and I saw where some people water marbled their fingernails and stuff like that and so I got to thinking you know I think it'd be kind of fun to water marble some picture frames and see how that works and I thought Christmas is coming and I was thinking candy cane and I was thinking red and white and so I'm going to attempt to do a little water marbling of red and white on some wooden picture frames. So I'm going to go ahead and show you the supplies I have laid out here on a piece of newspaper and we're going to see how this works okay, out. Okay, what I have here is a five gallon bucket of water about two inches from the top. All right, here on the newspaper I've got laid out just one rubber glove because that's all I'll need is just one hand because that'll be holding the picture frames. The picture frame on the left is from Walmart about two dollars and thirty something cents and the picture frame on the right is a Goodwill find for 99 cents. Now my color scheme is going to be red and white so that's the only colors I needed and I just used one is a they're both just cheap spray paint from Walmart the, the white one was like the 96 cents one but the red one was like the dollar 64 cent it's not expensive spray paint at all now lack of a better idea um, I just hammered two metal poles into the ground because I don't know if the backs will be marbled or not I hammered them the metal poles into the ground at an angle so maybe the picture frames can hang from that giving them an opportunity to dry. Now, if the backs are not marbled, I'll just lay them on the newspaper. Go ahead and get my glove on and I'll show you how I'm going to put the paint in the water. On my second picture frame, I found it easier just to do it two-handed. Okay, I was ready for the dipping part, and so I seriously had no idea what was the best way to do it. So I decided just to kind of put it face down and catch the paint. And then I figured out that that was the best way after the second picture frame. I pretty much just laid it flat on the water and caught as much of the marbling as I could. And I did that a couple different times until the frame was covered as well as possible. Now this is where I thought the project was ruined because the frames were just too pink and I was thinking Valentine's Day and so I just kept working with it and spraying some paint and laying the frame down face down until I got more of the red and white marbled look. I mean I was seriously just playing around with it trying to see what would happen the more I sprayed the more I dipped. Now my drying poles worked out pretty well overnight. It's the next morning and my picture frames are dry and I went and pulled some kind of Christmas themed ribbon. I'm going to make two big bows to go on the, on the frames. And then I'm also going to rub some of the Studio G iridescent glitter glue on there just to give it a little more festive look. Okay, I want to make a, a whimsical bow to go on my frames. And so I picked out four or five ribbons, all different widths and textures. And that's what gives it that whimsical look is the mix match look. I'm just going to start stacking them on top of each other. Um, 
there's no rhyme or reason and start with and I've got some rickrack on here however you want it to, to look and you can always undo it if you don't like the look of it just I'm just kind of stacking it like this and then once I get it how I want it to maybe look then I'm just going to wrap the center I'm going to gather it in the center and wrap it with this bread tie and then I'm going to take a hot glue gun and just secure a little piece of ribbon in the center to cover up the bread tie and that will give me a whimsical bow. Okay friends, this is my finished water marbled picture frames. I'm going to kind of zoom in a little bit and let you see the water marbling. Uh, I really like the, the look of it and uh, they definitely look marbled without a doubt. The only difference I would have done is I would have done green and white instead of red and white. You know, if you were making Valentine's frames, these would have been perfect because I had to really fight the pink off. I had to dip it a few times to kind of disguise the pink. And if I just did green and white, I would just have different shades of green and then I could focus on red bows at the top. I love the way they turned out. I love the glitter glue that give it the little glittery feel to it. And this frame on the right is the 99 cent one from Goodwill that I just stuck a five by seven Christmas card in. And it definitely looks like a boutique gift without a doubt. Um, the one on the left here is the Walmart one. This is a picture of my daughter. She's actually 27 years old now. So this is right at 20 years old, but she was adorable at that age and it just fit in that frame perfect. But I love the bow. Um, I just put a little wood embellishment right there. I had lots to choose from and I just picked the candy cane. This is certainly an inexpensive gift if you've got some ribbon stash and a little paint. Super cute. So I hope you enjoyed it, inspired you in some way. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.